Hello everyone, I want to share with you, uh, here we are in the kids section of the Forsyth Library, and uh, here is uh, Huckleberry Robin, my first children's book that I co-authored as a three-generation collaboration uh, with my family, and my 97-year-old grandmother Betty B. Schabacher did the illustrations, and uh, it is based on a true story. And I wrote it when I was very sick with mononucleosis and all I could do was lie there on the couch in the den by the window and I watched the scene unfold outside, which is the inspiration. And my mom and I dialogued about it and I found out that was a true story. She took care of a baby bird when she was a child. And this young girl in this story is, who's depicted in the story is my mother. And this is a family story that's been passed on and goes on from generation to generation. Also with the family of Robins, who you can see here, Strawberry Lingonberry, and of course, uh, main character Huckleberry. So it's a heartwarming story, it's an, and it's based on a true story. And I'm very excited to be able to share this. Very proud of, of all of my family, my grandmother being a, um, an artist and she's 97 and she's had a stroke and she's uh, still going. There's always something on her easel. She's very inspiring to me artistically and also just being a heartful human. And uh, we're looking forward to teaming up more and we look forward to being part of the uh, local art, uh, local author event. And we're gonna have uh, books and also some, some music that's inspired by the children's books. And I hope to be writing more as well. Uh, right now, I'm. Um, and every month I've been writing for Forsyth magazines, so Forsyth Women and Forsyth Family, and also write freelance for Na National Geographic and National Geographic Kids. And it's a great opportunity to tap into inner kid. And um, I've always enjoyed and want to embrace being a kid at heart. So whatever age I am, I hope that I'll be able to, to do that. I hope you stay inspired and um, are able to be part of leave, leaving a, um, a legacy of literacy and passing on these family stories and other stories from generation to generation that uh, inspire us and uh, celebrate life. On Fifth Street in downtown Winston-Salem, there's so much here, so many amazing uh, books and uh, all kinds of media that you can find and check out. And I'm on, looking at under SCH, under author's name, and here has Huckleberry Robin. My mom and my grandmother and I are three generation collaboration. There's my mom and I. And uh, this is based on a true story and illustrated by my grandmother, who is a 97 year old uh, collage artist quite an artist and uh, here's our dedication yeah, for the uh, Forsyth Library and we've got also some other copies at other branch libraries here in North Carolina and I'm uh, very excited to share this uh, special story. We have an event coming up the local authors and we hope that you'll be able to make it and stay tuned on that at SBBS writing on Facebook and uh, this is dedicated to the many Robins who've inspired us and uh, we, just a special true story um, and I will share more background about this. We're going to have some uh, music and uh, uh, books and um, working on some other children's books, some dance inspired and other topics and I hope to share more. But I hope you can make it to this special event and uh, next time you come to the library, definitely check this out. It's in the kids section under uh, SCH for Shabaker. For Shabaker. And I uh, hope that you will stay tuned for more. Not just for kids, but also for kids at heart. Here we are. We got Huckleberry Robin at the children's section of the Forsyth Central Library. And also some other uh, branch libraries. So we've got this author event coming up. Hope you'll be able to make it and come check out Huckleberry Robin when you get a chance by Susan and Betsy Schabacher, illustrated by Betty Schabacher.